Hello and welcome. This is the second video we're doing on the single precision floating point number system of representation in computers. If you haven't watched the other video, please go and do that. This provides additional information. Now what you're looking at there is the number line and as you can see there's no way that we can approach either positive or negative infinity nor can we get to absolute zero either. And the part where we can get to is not uniform. That is, we get greater resolution and accuracy down in the low numbers than we do in the larger numbers. However, the little tick marks shown on this diagram sort of represent the numbers that we can actually represent decimal numbers that have a perfect representation in the floating point single precision number system. All other numbers are only approximately represented and contain some error. Absolute zero, we have to represent with an exponent representation of zero. We also reserve the maximum representation, which would be 255 or FF, for a NAN, which is not a number. That was something that would result if you tried to divide by zero or some other math mathematical operation where you cannot get a valid number in the system. So our usable exponent range, once we remove those two combinations, stretches from 1 to 254. And because we're using excess 127 format, it gives us a positive 127 to a negative 126 range. How do we arrive at those numbers? Well, if we have negative 126, which means we have 2 raised to the power of minus 126, when we add 127 to it, we are going to get 1, or 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. On the other hand, if we have 2 to the 127th power, then when we add 127 to that, we are going to get 254, which is the one just below the 255, or 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay, so that's how we arrive at that. And it's shown there clearly for you. Now, what about the maximum number that we can represent? Whether it's positive or negative, it's going to be the same number because the negative or positive is only stored as a single bit. That bit is 1 when it's negative and 0 when it's positive. This mechanism is called sine magnitude storage. So if we have 1 followed by a mantissa of 23 bits, all 1s, that will be the maximum number. And we have 2 to the 127th power. So that is approximately 3.4 by 10 to the 38th in decimal. Quite a large number, but certainly nowhere near infinity. Now what about the minimum number? Well, the minimum number, we can't go below zero, and we can never get zero because that one is not stored in the number. So we have one followed by 23 zeros, and here we have two to the minus 126. This number is, of course, very, very small, much smaller than one. And it works out in decimal to approximately 1.2 by 10 to the minus 38 power. So we have quite a range of numbers, even though we cannot represent them all exactly in the system. 
The real problem is that the actual resolution, numerical resolution, changes with the exponent, as you can imagine. It is approximately 2 by 10 to the 31 power, which actually is 2 to the power of 104, when the exponent is 127, and it is approximately 1.4 by 10 to the minus 45, an incredibly small number, or 1 over 2 to the power of 149, when the exponent is minus 126. Can you see that? Think about it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.